All right. Here we are, guys. Um, another Minecraft video. It's been quite a while. Uh, probably since like two weeks. And I haven't uploaded any Minecraft videos apart from the two videos related to speedrun stuff. So uh, this video is not really on survival stuff. This basically is a seed so showcase. Um, personally, I found the seed on my own. So in case anyone is actually like wondering exactly what seed it is and how to get it and which version you have to be on, because uh, right now we actually are in Minecraft Education Edition 1.20.13, like about 1.20 ish. And I found this very interesting seed which is gonna blow your mind. So, uh, we're actually gonna go straight over here. So, um, so actually I will say the seed right now, uh, just as of right now, sorry, sorry Mr. Chicken. Uh, the seed name is Notch. So if you type up, so if you type in Notch, the, the word Notch into, you know, the seed number uh, box, and then like hit the, hit the generate warning, uh, the note to be taken here the seed only works for the bedrock players I don't know if it works for Java because I don't think the terrain will generate perfectly well but in bedrock it has some fascinating terrain so when you top up the seed and when the world generates you are actually uh, spawn uh, next to a plains village which is a little bit interesting because uh, yeah it's actually pretty nice then if you voice forward over to that side you can see a vast uh ocean on that side so that's also pretty nice right here we got a church uh tower right here we got a couple of farms as well now this is all 1.18 terrain stuff so you probably will notice that all these <laughs> villages houses don't even fit with the terrain at all like some of them have got some of them are like on the other levels you can see the grass path being broken up parts over here so we're gonna climb up with that side. Uh, over there you can find the forest. Um, not much you can find around here. Here's the village center. <laughs> yeah, t tell you what, the 1.18 generation is pretty much gonna be a bad time for the villagers. Cause like imagine the villagers are living up there and they have the pro uh, professions right down there. Like they have jobs down there. And they're gonna have a tough time figuring out how to get down there because of this high ele elevation. So we're actually gonna go straight over, over to that side, up the hill. Here you guys can actually see there's a cleric, and he's actually stuck up there because his profession is right over there. And uh, yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, there's even another one over there as well. Um, there are two church towers. There is one blacksmith. Uh, just before we went up. You guys probably noticed that. So that there, yeah, there's actually that. Uh, it actually has some pretty decent stuff. Not much uh, interesting so far. But what is really interesting is the pathway we're going to go over this way. So I'm going to follow this path. Uh, you actually will see like there's some coal um, revealed in some spots pretty cool so we're gonna go for this way and yeah <laughs> yeah 1.18 terrain stuff is a little bit weird here uh, but if we go down here look at this look at this massive spectacle now you think it's probably because I did it in all creative. No, 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 no. This is all naturally terrain generation. Look at that. Look at that massive cave. Uh, we're going to go straight over this way. Traversing through the forest. Hopefully don't take any damage. And you will see. This is the exact hill. Look how massive this thing is. Look at the size of it. Look at that. It's a beauty. I actually may need some blocks to traverse perfectly well. Because all of this ragged terrain generation. Look at this. 
Look at this massive big boy here. So if you type up the seed notch, um, and this is only for bedrock people, you will actually find this terrain generation very fascinating. Oh, hey there, doggy. And it is quite massive. And when I say massive, it is legitimately massive. All right, look, look at this thing. From there, all the way there, and it goes deep down. Massive. I'm actually gonna Oh. Alright, I saw something over there. Thought I saw like a bunny or something dark. Yeah, so you could see these massive gaps in this hill. That's the fascinating terrain. And that too, the hill is so close to spawn. So close. It's like about 10 blocks closer to it. Look at that. Let me just get up higher a bit. Now I will say this. If I get up properly. Uh, yeah. Look at this view. If I were a Minecraft builder. Right. I would actually make an underground village in this hill. Because look at this massive size. You won't get any cave that is like exposed out in the open like this. And I don't even know if this one actually leads down to the deep dark. I haven't actually checked that out yet. Uh, but what I do know, it actually reaches down to deep slate over on that side. So if you go straight over that side, there'll be like a lava uh, waterfall and it will take you down over to the deep slate level. That's how far I've gone so far. Apart from that, you can see that there's like stone pillars. Uh, there are some uh, coal and copper veins. I haven't seen iron. There are some, I think. You will see some glow spots because actually there are some glow lichen. Uh, glow lichen or... I'm gonna call it glow lichen. Because why not? You can see this cave just massively expands. There's lots and lots and lots of stone. And I'm pretty sure... And honestly, I, I don't think anyone actually will think that this is like a notch, the Temple of Notch 2.0. Because, I mean, like when you type up Temple of Notch, you get the actual Temple of Notch with Notch's face. But no, this, this is massive. And I'm pretty sure any builder who actually comes across this will probably make a Temple of Notch 2.0 using the seed. And tell you what, this seed is not mentioned in any of the forums. I was just testing out different seeds, random seeds, just typed up, uh, you know, Herobrine, Steve, Notch. And when I typed up Notch, I got this big terrain. I got this big bad boy. Now, another thing is that if we go straight ahead, so you'll see from the forest, we actually emerge over to a spruce forest a taiga biome. If you go that way, you will find yourself a spruce village closer to the river. And like from far away, you can actually see this massive cave. Yeah, even from here, I can... Now, what in the world is going on here? We got BBC Life documentary going on here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, poor fox. Um, but yeah, just from here you can see the massive terrain generation. And the render distance is set to five chunks. But yeah, th this is massive. This is massive. I'm pretty sure anyone is going to make Temple of Notch 2.0. I'm pretty sure anyone who actually gets their hands on this seed. So, yeah, this is basically just a, a showcase of the seed. I found it out personally. I found it out on my own. So if you guys want to try out the seed, all you gotta do is go over onto Bird Rock Edition, type of Notch. Um, doesn't have to be capitalized, it just just has to be, you know, Notch, and that's it. Not Notch person, not Temple of Notch, just type up Notch. I'll probably put it in the description. Um, however, if you want the actual seed number, I can show it to you right here. Uh, if I go to settings. And then we scroll down. 
to here. So if you type up notch in here, it will automatically transfer to this particular number. So I may, if the if the text word does not work, I'll probably put up this number so you guys can actually check it out on your own. So yeah, just, it's, it's pretty cool. Wow, just from here, I can even see the moon. It's cool. <laughs> that fox just scared me. I thought there was something creeping behind me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it so far. So basically, this huge cave, uh, this huge mountain is just like a few blocks. Like about, I would say about 10 to 20 blocks uh, away from spawn. Which is quite decent because you can't actually find a big mountain so close to spawn. I mean, there are rare seeds, there are rare seeds that can actually lead you to spawn. Uh, like these huge mountains which are like close to spawn. There are like very, very few seeds about that. Uh, particularly ones which actually involve the 1.18 uh, uh, terrain generation. I don't think any uh, seed would actually have, like not all seeds will have a mountain which has this massive big gaps. So uh, just again, if you see, so if you go deep down over there, you can actually see right there, uh, there'll be like a lava waterfall. So once you see the lava waterfall, if you go down, you'll actually be taken over to the deep slate version, the, the deep slate uh, part of the cave system. I think in some of my videos when I actually mentioned deep slate version, I actually meant by, you know, the, because actually this, uh, because of the 1.18 terrain generation going on, including the cave generation, it probably involves, you know, you have the stone version, you have the deep slate version, and then you just have the bedrock layer. So that's the reason why I just said deep slate version. It's not a name of a version, it's just, a you know, the level level version it is so so what I'm guessing is spawn so when, when you actually put up the seed you actually spawn somewhere around here so like you're close to the village and if you go straight over that side you'll be able to see the massive big spectacle hill um, however if you want to find out more things going on there. If you go straight ahead, you'll find yourself a big massive meadow with then this is a little bit a little bit interesting. You actually find one lone birch tree next to a ruined portal. That is how far it is. Um I think you can also find an ancient city. I don't actually know about that, so well, we're actually going to go higher. So if you reach up high, and let's see, yeah, so from here, this is where, you know, the meadow actually starts from. So that's the big hill over there, and that's like, that's where like the plains end that's where the village ends so around here if you see the meadow if you go straight this way you see where I'm you see where I'm actually pointing my my uh, plus sign over to the, the cursor if you go straight far ahead you'll be able to reach over to a ruined portal plus a long and quite lonely birch tree with a bee nest and uh, that's basically how far I've gone so far. Um, there's probably like an ancient city if you go straight ahead. Um, may have to check again for more info. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically the seed. It's it's notch. Wow, look how beautiful this place is. It's made of. Yellow dandelions and cornflowers. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to end this video right here. So, yet again, I will leave the seed number and the word notch for you guys to check it out. It is only for the Bedrock people. I will make another one for Java Edition and see if it if that works. 
But if you are if if you are on better organization and you want to check out the seed, tell you what, check it out right now because this seed is massive, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be open up for many Minecraft builders and master crafters and master builders who's going to make all these crazy stuff with this big massive hill and probably make temple temple of Nash but no who knows who knows and i think that will be it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys this video see ya and don't forget to be the awesome hero brian make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content and I will see you guys later.